mystery of stuff. Nowadays, most of the children are pampered and are given whatever they ask for from their parents. Some children demand constant attention and will not take no for an answer. They live a comfortable and easy life without knowing that there's still children out there who are suffering. Recently, a netizen's post about the story behind the boy who performs in mascot costumes and clown makeups on the street to help his mother went viral with more than 7,000 views and 100 comments on Instagram. In the netizen's post, he wrote, The little boy whose name is Rihan has to get up early every day so that his performances can be witnessed by the office workers and residents around the Gato Sobrato Roads. Rihan's street performances are considered a distraction and effective way to get rid of the exhaustion of life in the middle of the crowded Gateau Sobrota roads. However, there were some important aspects that didn't cross their minds. Majority of people who stop to watch Rihan's performances do not actually know that the person behind the mascot costume and clown makeup is just a kid. According to Rihan, his decision to become a street performer was to afford and fulfill his daily needs. The little boy's mother only earns enough money to pay rent. If there is extra income, it will be kept aside for his school fees. The money's good. I can buy takeaway rice to bring back home, said Rihan. Rihan also does little dances in order to attract the people's attention. Rihan shared that his costumes and mascots will be changed every day. The costume provider provides various selection of mascot costumes that resembles many cartoon characters, from Dora the Explorer, U-Pin and I-Pin, to SpongeBob SquarePants. I rent the mascot costumes, but my mother pays for it, Rihan said. Rihan leaves the house early in the morning every day before the break of dawn to start his street performances. He finishes his performances in the morning so that he has time to play football in the afternoon. After the evening prayer, I usually go back straight home with my mother after finish cleaning the Alpha Mart yard on Ghetto Sabrota, said Rihan. When he was asked whether he's happy with his current part-time profession, Rihan said he is completely happy and comfortable to help his mother to earn extra money. Nevertheless, he also did not deny that sometimes he feels tired as he has to walk 10 kilometers from his house to set up his performances. This little boy's situation teaches each one of us that we should be thankful for what we have without complaining. Out.